Craig Cameron, Gloves Red, delighted to be joined by Scotland's Tartan Tornado and Unified World Champion, Josh Taylor. Josh, how are you getting on? Okay? Yeah, good, thanks. Uh, doing well. How's yourself? Yeah, good. Good, Josh. Um, so, Josh, how's how's preparation going? Um, of course, you're fighting Jose Ramirez, 22nd of May, uh, to be undisputed world champion. Uh, a dream of yours. Um, how's preparations going and when are you heading out to Vegas? Yeah, we're flying, uh, flying in camp now. So we've been we've been in training camp now um, twelve weeks. You know, this is my twelfth week already in camp in full camp anyway. So yeah, it's uh, yeah, we're flying. I'm happy where I'm at, at the gym and what I'm doing, everything. You know, sparring, you know, my runs, my sprints, my times, my my S and C, everything. My nutrition's on point. You know, it's um, it's amazing. So yeah, we're, we're looking forward to getting out there. We're going to be heading out there um, at the end of this week. Get over there. Um, we'll be over there for four weeks. We plan on being over there for four weeks before the fight. So, yeah, it's uh, it's going well, and uh, we can't wait to get out there. Yeah, and how much are you looking forward to seeing your name up in lights and the, the Vegas Strip? That must have been a dream of yours all, all your life, Josh. Aye, I know. I mean, it's, you know, it's uh, every fighter's dream. You know, see your name up in bright lights in Vegas at the the MGM Grand or the Mandalay Bay, wherever it, it's going to be. You know, it's a uh, it's going to be huge. It's going to be cool seeing my name up there driving down the strip once I arrive from the uh, from the airport, driving down, have a wee drive down to see my name up in the bright lights and up on the billboards and that will be, uh, it'll be cool. It'll be cool. Great. Brilliant. Um, and Josh, so in terms of the opponent, Jose Ramirez, world champion in his own right, of course, um, what what threats does, does Jose pose to you on, on the May 22nd? Well, he's, he's going to come with a lot of heat and a lot of fire. Anyway, that's for sure. He's going to come with uh, come forward on the on pressure fighting. You know, I think he's going to be, I think he's going to come forward and try and overwhelm me and try and outfight me and try and do that kind of stuff. Um, I think I know what to expect. You know, he is a very good fighter. You know, he's he's a good body puncher, good combination puncher. He looks he looks um, quite physically strong. You know, he looks he looks like as if he punches hard as well. So um <clears throat> I've got my hands full for sure. You know, he's a good fighter. Uh but uh, having said that, I've I don't think I've seen I don't think I've seen anything from him that he can do anything much any different in any of his fights. And he's always coming forward and trying to trying to overwhelm his opponents and do it with work rate and fitness. He seems to be relying on his fitness and work rate and will he win. Well, I could tell you I've got fitness and work rate and what we win as well, you know, in abundance. So if he's relying on that, is if that's his plan A and plan B, plan C, then he's uh, he's pretty much goosed, you know. I, I, I do, I do think I've got more to my game and more to my Arsenal than than he has, you know. I, I do think um, I can I can fight when I want, I can box when I want, I can move around, I can fight orthodox and fight southpaw, you know. It's um, I just believe I can do a lot more than him. I can and I can adapt and, and change more than him. All right, great. And Josh, so you probably won't remember we've actually met before. We met in a lift in the Midland Hotel. You were fighting the undercard, Scott Quigg, uh, Carol uh, Hampton, and uh, I was saying, "Oh, how are you feeling ahead of your fight?" And you said, "I'm going to go for a sleep, and then I'm going to knock the guy out later on." That's exactly what you've done. Where where <laughs> does that where does that focus come from, Josh? See me fire in your belly every, every time I hear from you. I don't know. It's just I've, I've always been competitive, you know. Uh, as, as a kid, everything I did, you know, uh, just competitive and wanted to win everything, and uh, got that desire, you know, in, in me that you know, and, and what we win everything. That's just it's just there in abundance. It's just always been there, always has been uh, for as long as I can remember, you know. So I say. Uh, it's always been there. I didn't think it will ever leave me either. Yeah, no, exactly. And Josh, previously in your interviews, you've touched on uh, writing down Josh Taylor, world champion. Uh, now you've got the opportunity to become undisputed world champion. What What do you think you're going to be writing down in bits of paper after this fight? I'm a two-weight world champion. You know, uh, Josh Taylor, future two-weight world champion. You know, that'll be, that'll be going on the, the notes and things like that for the next... Once I win this goal, once I once I win this fight and achieve this goal, that'll be to become an undisputed or a second weight world champion. So that'll be what'll be manifesting and 
in that after this fight, you know, so I'll be doing things like that, but I'm not in a rush. I'm not thinking and I'm not thinking past, uh, obviously, next month. But um, that probably longer term goals is what I'll be want, looking to do is become a second weight world champion. Yeah. And and one of your idols, Ken Buchanan, of course, uh, you could be the first fighter in 50 years, again, to become an undisputed champion. Josh, is, is becoming Britain's greatest ever fighter, is that a reality for you, would you say? Well, it's certainly, um, it's certainly achievable, isn't it? Um, it's certainly achievable, but it's not... It's no one that, you know, these things, it's no one that I go out of my way to 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 do and achieve and outdo out anybody or outdo out anybody or do it better than anybody. You know, I'm, I'm only in this game to be the best that I can be. Um, certainly, for sure, if I win this fight, it's got to be one of the best Scottish fighters ever, isn't it? You know, um you know, obviously we've got Ricky Burns as well, three weight world champion, only only Scottish fighter ever do that as well, which is a f- massive, massive achievement in itself as well. So it's got to be up there with one of the best, you know. And then if I do go on and achieve more, it's if I cement my name in the history books as a, a, a old time British Scottish great, you know. And uh, that's what I'm interested in is leaving my name and leaving my my mark in history. Yeah. And a, and a victory in this fight, Josh, are we going to see a, a big party celebration in Edinburgh, followed by a, a big night at Edinburgh Castle, hopefully? Well, we don't know. I would need to wait and see. Um, I will, I'd like to think that I could get that fight um, in the castle. Um, if not, we'll be, we'll be Easter Road. We'll, I, I want to fight, obviously, in my home city um, at least once again uh, before, before everything wraps up. You know, it's, uh, I'd love to get I'd love to get that fight at uh, Edinburgh Castle um, in the middle of summer when the, the stands is up on the Esplanade on a summer night. Um, I just think that's iconic. That, that would look absolutely iconic. You know, one for the history books, uh, a boxing ring in the middle of it, the castle all lit up in the background. A good summer's night, uh, hopefully, you know, with the, the weather and that. But um, that would just be, imagine that, you know, being able to say you've done that would be, it's a once in a lifetime opportunity, and uh, I'd love to do it. I'd love to do it. That's one that's on the bucket list as well. Yeah. Do Do you feel that there's? I spoke to Lee McGregor about this as well. Do you feel that there's, you know, venue wise in Edinburgh for boxing, it's it's kind of lacking. Shocking. Yeah. Shocking. It's terrible um, for everything. For uh, anything, you know, concerts, uh, events, anything. There, there's nothing. You know, there's absolutely nothing for it being a. Uh, it's meant to be the capital city, and there's no. There's no. Uh, venues for anything it's, it's shocking really it's, it's terrible um, they seem to be pump, more interested in pumping money into student accommodation and accommodation flats and, and things like that you know they uh, they knock down the perfect the perfect example of it is um, they knock down Meadow Bank Sports Centre um, and the grounds of it surrounding it where, where the velodrome was and things like that that's all been knocked down um, and Student flats have been built on it. Student accommodation have all been built on it. It's a massive piece of land. That could have been, that could have been a huge indoor arena there. It could have been a 20,000 seat arena in there. You know, with, with parking and all that. It's, uh, but but they've decided to downsize Meadow Bank, um, make the running track where it is still. But um, outside, you know, they could what they could have done there. They could have made that an indoor arena. You know, that bit in there, invested the money there and put it in there. Um, and, you know, you've got all that land at the side for the parking and that as well. But this, they've put it in a student accommodation and the student accommodation going up ref, left, right and centre in, in the city. And it's just, uh, yeah. it's beyond me why, why Edinburgh hasn't got venues for places and things, places for things to go and host things. It's just, uh, it's unbelievable. Yeah, no, it just it feels a shame just with you and Lee, obviously, and I, you know, I think Lee will be challenging. I've been fortunate enough, me. though. I, I have been fortunate enough um, earlier in my career where I, I, I sold out Meadowbank Arena um, in a couple of my fights, you know, with Dave Ryan and then uh, Warren Jubert. After that, you know, there was three and a half, four thousand um, in, in that hall, in Meadowbank, the big hall. So... Um, I've been lucky enough to have a couple of home fights uh, in in Edinburgh, you know, and uh, I've had three or four fights in Edinburgh, <clears> um, which which has been good. But it's just uh, 
obviously as if I've got as I've gotten bigger, there's been nowhere to um, host the the fights. But obviously I've been going through to Glasgow and I've loved it. You know, I've I've had my best nights in Glasgow in the hydro. Um, my my favourite one, my, the proudest moment of my career is winning the Commonwealth Games in Glasgow and then singing Flower of Scotland on the podium and um, won my world title there. I've had numerous fights there against Victor Postel and that as well. I've had all my, my major success in Glasgow. So I like to call Glasgow my second home and I've uh, I've been very welcomed there and um, welcomed in with open arms as, as, as one of their own. So it's been a... Uh, it's been really good, um, but I do have that desire to fight at home in a massive fight as well. <clears throat> no, of course, of course. And Josh, just finally, um, I know that your eyes are going to be firmly fixed on Jose Ramirez and May twenty second. But you know, if you did have that Edinburgh Castle fight, is is there a fighter in your mind that you would love that to be against? I'm not sure uh, anybody really. You know, um, you've got you've got to take your pick. Really, if if I come through this, it's kind of take your pick. You know, it's a uh, now everybody will be wanting to fight me now, you know, so um, take your pick, really. It's, it could be one of 10 or 15 fighters, you know, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's whoever, it, whoever it is, it will be a big fight anyway and it would be it would be huge. Great, great. No, listen, Josh, I just want to thank you for your time today. I know that there are lots of people wanting to speak to you, um, but yeah, thanks very much for your time and uh, all the best in May 22nd. No problem, mate. Thanks very much, Craig, well, and uh, speak to you soon. Thanks, Josh. Cheers. Cheers.